Thank you, President. The war in Ukraine is a dramatic act of madness. Putin's military operation against the Ukraine it has to be stopped absolutely and as soon as possible using the arms of diplomacy to re-establish peace. This is a dirty war that is causing death and destruction among the civilian population and it threatens to destabilize the whole world. The war in Ukraine is uh, one that affects all of us because it is an attack on the values of the whole of the free West. Putin's threat is a threat to peace around the world, to our security, and we cannot pretend that nothing is happening here. With every means available to us, we have to defend our freedom and our democracy. This has to be our mission. When faced with a global threat, which is arriving from dictatorships and regimes like communist China, this Islamic dictatorships or Putin's Russia. To rise to this challenge, we must be united. We have to have a strong alliance with the United States of America. It's time for us to reinforce the Atlantic Alliance. We need to build a solid alliance with Israel. It's high time that we created a, a special relationship with Great Britain and the countries of the Anglosphere. They are important to our common security and defense policy. Europe has to accept its share of the guilt for ambiguity uh, in the past. Colleagues, the war in Ukraine is a historical crossroads where on one hand you have Western uh, democracy and freedom and on the other you have uh, uh, dictatorship and violence. We stand side by side with the Ukrainian people we need to ensure that peace puts an end to these bombs and let's hope that liberty will prevail over dictatorship.